Oh, it was amazing. We had a cheer camp before we started for like two weeks, which was so much fun to get to know everyone. And it was like important because I was just starstruck every single time I turned around. So it was so much fun. Just work ethic. Uh, yeah, I just learned so much. And like, no matter how far you've gone in your career to be humble and be a giving actor, I learned so much. It was fun. I mean, I don't really know how to cheerlead, so it was kind of important for me to learn. Um, my cheerleading background was in fifth grade. I was like a part of a pep rally, but that's the extent of it. So it was just so fun to be able to dance with all of these ladies and kind of, you know, form a bond before we start filming. Don't give up on yourself till you'll be gone someday. Don't worry about it. That'll happen. Meanwhile, get after it. Do something. Have some fun. You know, it's a, it's, as you get older, you realize it's not, it's a brief ride. And if you're lucky enough to live in the, you know, warts and all, it's the best country in the world for my money. And uh, I got a lot to be thankful for and happy about. So I, I remain thankful and happy. It was the most fantastic thing. You wouldn't believe how much fun it was. I mean, when we first got there, we came to L.A. for rehearsal. Uh, the day we, they picked up all the ladies that were coming in from out of town, when we got out of the van, who was there waiting for us but Diane Keaton, waiting to open the door of the van. So I knew it was going to be great from then on. And, was, and everybody, Rhea Perlman and Jackie Weaver, Pam Gray, they were just all dreams to work with. I mean, we just all women of a certain age that want to see everybody succeed, so that's, that was the wonderful thing about it. Do we have to talk about that? <laughs> How I prayed every night, <clears throat> God, please. I remember asking the choreographer, Marguerite, one time, well, how long is this routine? Five minutes or so? She said, it's a minute and 30 seconds. I said, oh, okay, all right. But I made it. I got stronger. Every, every day I got stronger and stronger. And I, I prayed a lot, but I made it. I said, y'all going to put me in a short skirt? <laughs> Are you serious? I'm seven years old, and y'all going to put me in a short skirt? But I looked good. <laughs> they did, and I liked it. Well, you know, it runs the gamut, really, from heartbreak to uh, hilarity to triumph. I think it's about triumph. And um, without no spoilers, a star character who is an independent woman facing an aloneness no one wants to have at the end of life. And she finds this community of women supporting and loving her and seeing her through that passage. It chokes me up. But, you know, that's something um, really a beautiful thing about this, this movie. Oh, it was wonderful doing this film. We have such bonding between the eight of our cheerleaders, and we got to work together for such a long time that uh, I miss them all, so I can't wait till tonight when we can get all together again. Well, I don't want to tell any secrets, but I had to learn to do a split again. I mean, it, it's been a while since I've done the splits, so. It was a lot of warming up and getting ready to do that wonderful moment. This was so much fun. I love making this film. It was very touching too. And um, I adored Diane Keaton. I think she's fabulous. But all the girls are fabulous. We, had, we worked hard. It was hard work, you know, when you get to our age doing all that stuff. I think the message of the film is that you've got to, you've got to make the most of every moment, whatever your age, but um, live life to the absolute max. Well, it started first with Diane, where I went to her home for about a month, a couple times a week, and I created all the movement on her. And she was like amazing day one and a great student, so I created the whole, like, the whole big routine on her, and then we had a week of boot camp where all the ladies came together, and we just rehearsed every day and had a blast, really. They were really wonderful. We worked hard from morning till night, you know? And then went home and soaked our old 
you know, I mean, one day somebody was throwing a hip, one was throwing a mu you know, like, I. it was great fun, though. It was challenging. It was just so much fun to be able to actually get up there and them with a whole high school, many high schools watching us make fools of ourselves. It was really fun. You know, we had to learn this whole routine and we practiced really hard. We we're very serious about it and we would still not know it. You know, I mean, I had to practice it in my room at night, you know, and stuff like that. And um, uh, it was, uh, you know, it was different, but something you always wanted to do. So it, it was out of your comfort zone, but in a way, you know, so happy to be in that particular out of your comfort zone. Well, you know, you're just never too old to do anything you want. And age is really not a word that should be in your vocabulary. Because I think there aren't enough movies made about uh, women and certainly not older women and certainly not older women dancing. <laughs> and so the thought of being able to do that was felt very enticing to me. And I felt like I wanted to see it on a big screen. Uh, yes. I mean, that's the thing, when you're coming up with a story or a script, you kind of imagine who your dream cast would be. And of course, Diane Keaton was number one in my mind for Martha. And the fact that she read it and responded to it was just mind-blowing to me. Because, you know, we made a dance movie with uh, a group of eight women who are not dancers. And um, they, we, you know, we needed to get into the groove and we need to form a team and we needed to have a true team on the ground when we started shooting who knew some moves. And so we had this intensive boot camp with them where they all brought, brought it for a week, just intense as if they were at dance school for a week, and it was amazing. Well, I hope the audiences who see this film take away a sense that, um, first of all, older women are badass and worth watching on screen for 90 minutes. Um, but mainly, for anyone of any age, I really want people to feel that uh, it's never too late to open yourself up to a new opportunity to take a risk. And I think that's a message that we could all learn from no matter how old we are or what stage of life.